What's the difference between skills and strengths? And why is self-awareness so incredibly important? Find out on today's episode of the Freedom Club Podcast. Welcome to the Freedom Club Podcast, where we discover the fight for freedom, fulfillment, passion, and purpose. Your host is Kurt Mercadante, Gallup Certified Strengths Coach, an agency founder who is dedicated to coaching individuals seeking to level up their life and their businesses. The Freedom Club is about unlocking your talents, turning them into strengths, and crushing your objectives. You can learn more at KurtMercadante.com. Welcome to the Freedom Club. And welcome to the Freedom Club Podcast. I, of course, am your host, Kurt Mercadante. And whether this is your first time listening or your 51st time listening, I am so happy you're here. And I invite you today to tell your friends about us. Anyone who you think would benefit from hearing our message of freedom and fulfillment five days a week. And please don't be shy about leaving us a positive rating or review Those ratings and reviews help us to expand our reach across the earth with our message of freedom and fulfillment. And on today's episode, we are going to talk about freedom and fulfillment. More specifically, we're going to talk about the difference between skills and strengths and why self-awareness is so important. And so I'm going to share an excerpt from a recent podcast interview I did with Rob Cressy. He's got his own show, The Rob Cressy Show, on the Bacon Sports Podcast Network. I'm going to put a link in the show notes because Rob is doing some incredible things out of his office in Chicago with Bacon Sports. He is a true entrepreneur, and as you'll hear in this excerpt, he is fighting for freedom in his life, and he is winning. So without further ado, here is Rob's interview with me on The Rob Cressy Show on the Bacon Sports Podcast podcast network what's up it's rob cressy founder of bacon sports and joining me on today's show is kurt mercadante executive coast executive coast executive coach (laughs) i live on the coast though (laughs) he's the host of the freedom club podcast and his vision is to do my best to save the world by helping others fight for lives of freedom and fulfillment Kurt, I'm super excited to be having you on the show. I'm pumped to be here, man. Thanks. So to set the stage, we connected on LinkedIn, and I've been consuming your content since then. You've got an awesome beard, and I dig it. My beard game goes very seasonal, but I can definitely appreciate someone who's got a great beard. And what really resonates with me so much is your message, and it starts with your core And it's about freedom and fulfillment. And for me with Bacon Sports, I'm on a journey for freedom. My dream has always been to work in sports. So I'm building a company where every day I get to work in sports and finding ways to make that happen. And right before this, we started working, we started talking about the foundation of all of this. The what is necessary for you in order to get freedom and fulfillment. And it's the number one thing that changed my life. And it's probably the hardest thing that someone will ever do, and that is self-awareness. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, and, and I have a lot of people who come to me for my coaching and they say, can we skip the self-awareness part? Because my coaching, you know, I'm a certified Gallup Strengths Coach, which means we start with the Strengths Finder uh, assessment. They call it Clifton Strengths now. Most people know Strengths Finder, which shows you your innate talents. And a lot of people confuse talents with skills. Oh, I'm playing to my strengths. And what they're really thinking is skills. Skills are, I play basketball well. I, I speak well. I write well. I sing well. Those are skills. Your talents are things, those you know, ingrained, naturally occurring patterns of thought, feeling, and behavior that help you influence others, that drive you, that, that motivate you. And everyone has them. Some people don't know what they are. And when you invest in them and you work them out like a muscle every day and you use them intentionally, you turn them into strengths. I like to call them your superpowers. And when you double down on those, listen, there's enough people who are going to tell you what your weaknesses are. And most people, Gallup finds that the vast majority of parents, for instance, think the best way to raise their kids is to focus on what they do worst to try to fix it. And people laugh. Oh, no, no. And I say, that's like telling Usain Bolt. Hey, man, you're awesome in the 100 meters, really good job in the 100 meters, but your mile time sucks. 
So you're not allowed to run the 100 meters anymore. You, you just got to focus on your mile. And, and that's what we do with everyone. It's called deficit-based development. So I was just thinking here, I actually can't think of the moment in which I decided that I was going to work on my own self-awareness. Five and a half years into this, I know that something changed in me, but I can't tell you what the thing was. And there's a quote that I very much live my life by. It's the only way to change is to change. And at some point I had to change. And with that came the self-awareness of uh, the only way I'm going to be able to succeed in life is if I take ownership of every single aspect of it. But it's a very difficult thing when I came from the corporate world and granted I, I worked from home for 11 years, but what can someone do if they say, all right, Robin Kurt, I, I'm with you. I get that self-awareness is a very important thing, but where do you even start with something like that? Because it's something that has to come from inside of you deep where you decide to change and take ownership of everything. But if I can't bring you one single pinpoint, but it's instead the overarching theme of how it changed my life. Yeah, no, and I, and I know exactly where you're at. And, and I had, I waited far too long to find, you know, that self-awareness and to find my purpose. A lot of it was really triggered with my dad passing away because he was like Tony Stark, right? He used to help design fighter jets and all the switches in the Boeing 77 worked on the space program. And at the time I had a PR agency that was crushing it, right? But he was saving the world and I was writing press releases. And so when he passed away and I saw these grown men crying and then you see the letters, you know, you start going through his stuff, you see the letters from NASA. And I'm like, what the hell am I doing? Like, and so you, you really start to realize it and you start to question everything. And you start to question kind of the bullshit and the, you know, the people and the, the meetings that you're, you're, you're sitting at. And, the, you know, I worked in the trade association world and these people who take themselves so seriously and my God, that one logo piece and it's not the right way. And they're going to yell at you on a Friday afternoon. Like that is the difference between life and death. And you start to realize like these people are in a complete prison. You know, it's like the matrix, right? They're hooked up to the matrix. They don't even know it. And once you start, being curious and the, the things that you start holding as dogma, if you start just questioning everything in a good way and being curious about it, I mean, everything like my health, my doctors used to, I used to have these stomach issues for 12 years. My wife would be like, something's wrong with you. And the doctor put me on a pill and I had side effects that didn't help and all this stuff, blah, 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 eat more grains and all this. And I was reading a blog post one day, it was from Tim Ferriss. And he had a guy named Rob Wolf who had, was talking about the paleo diet. And I read it and he's listing off all these symptoms. And I'm like, that's me. <laughs> and so I did it and I've been doing it since 09 and my life has changed. I'm off Lipitor, I'm off the drugs that the doctor told. So just be curious. You know, once you start being curious about yourself, about your life, it, it, there's a snowball effect about really starting to question wow, everything that I thought was self-awareness is actually external expectations. I got to live in a certain house with a certain car with a certain job and it's all bullshit. Mm -hmm.